Welcome Taurus to your weekly reading. This is for the 20th to the 26th of March. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes for the week. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Now, this is a collective reading, my dear Taurus, so there's going to be quite a few messages coming through. If there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, it probably just means that it's not meant to be your reading at this time, and you can go ahead and watch your Moon Rising and Venus Signs readings. The first card you get is willpower. Wonderful energy to see. Because as you can see, she stands here strong. The world in one hand, the moon in the other. Now, this week on the 21st, we have a new moon. So I feel there is something about this new moon energy, my dear Taurus, that is coming in and is very much associated with the strength card, the standing your ground card. We'll see what the tarot brings in. And then number 19, delight comes in. What a wonderful, beautiful light energy. It's about experiencing feelings of intense joy and happiness. So we'll see where that comes up for you. Let's go ahead now and get your tarot cards. This is really where we're going to get our deeper insight and messages. So we're going to start off with this willpower energy and we're going to see what this is all about for you. What is this willpower energy for Taurus, please? Okay. You have got two of pentacles, ten of cups, seven of swords. This is a very interesting energy, my dear Taurus. We saw here with the willpower card, you standing very strong, very determined in a certain area. I think you're sitting on a decision with our two of pentacles energy. And two of pentacles tells us there has been no decision made just yet. I think you've been waiting, waiting for more information, waiting for something to come to light, waiting until you felt that you knew what you wanted to do. You have not made this decision. I think this decision is very closely connected to your Ten of Cups energy. And Ten of Cups is our happily ever after card. Now, of course, everybody's happily ever after is completely different and it changes. So we're talking about something that is your happily ever after now, Taurus. So it's something you want now. So this is the decision you are working with. But there is something missing. It's like a, an answer, a piece of information, somebody to do something, somebody to say something. You're holding strong. You're not budging. This week, Seven of Swords energy comes in and we see you being very strategic. I feel you're going to move this decision. I have the energy now over this new moon period that you don't want to wait anymore. This new moon is in Aries and it's daring and it's not a sit back and wait energy. And I think this is what's going to happen this week. You are going to be very smart, very strategic. You're going to think to yourself, all right, what do I want as the outcome? And you're going to go out there and get it. You're going to create it for yourself. This is the energy of, say, you and your partner live in a certain neighborhood and you want to move for various reasons. Maybe you have a noisy neighbor, maybe you want to be closer to work, and you want to move. And your partner and you have been discussing this over and over again, backwards and forwards. We can do this, we can do that, but why don't we do this? What about that? So up, down, up, down, going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. But you know that this move right now is going to make you incredibly happy. This week, Taurus doesn't wait for anybody. Taurus makes the move. You go out there, you 
Now, phone up real estate agents, you make appointments to see new apartments, new homes, you start advertising to see what rent you can get for your home, you start making very strong, very active moves. You're not waiting. You're really harnessing the energy of the new moon and you're getting out there with this willpower energy, strong, fierce and determined, and you're making things happen. You're making energy move. You're shifting energy. It's you that is doing it. Very nice energy coming in. Let's go ahead now and get your tarot cards and see what this delight energy is for you. What is this delight energy for Taurus, please? What is this delight energy for Taurus? And you have the King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Cups. So let's just shift this up. So we don't get confused with the energy. Taurus, I feel you are going to be incredibly strong this week in terms of your actions. You are presenting as King of Pentacles. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. You're coming through as a King energy, which is a strong energy. And our king energy is a very grounded king. It's a king who knows what he wants, he knows where he's going, and he is determined to get what he wants. I think this energy of three of wands is very much connected to your ten of cups energy. This thinking, planning, oh wouldn't it be wonderful, I'll just go back to that moving scenario, wouldn't it be wonderful to be in this new neighborhood, I'll be close to work, it'll only take me five minutes there, five minutes back, I will be able to make new friends, there's a wonderful yoga school nearby, right, all this thinking and all this planning. Now, this is such a lovely energy because you've got six of cups coming in. There is going to be a surprise gift that comes through with regards to this energy we saw here, this ten of cups energy, that is going to bring in intense emotions of joy and happiness. So maybe finally you get going and your partner then is on board and whatever you suggest and whatever you want to do, your partner's like, Taurus, I'm with you. I've got you. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's make things happen. There is like a surprise coming through from the universe that pops in to your life this week in whatever area this Ten of Cups energy is. But we must really acknowledge that you have manifested this, you have driven this process. And because you have worked with this new moon in Aries energy, you've been courageous, you've been gutsy. The universe rewards you, my dear Taurus. They say, right, whatever this is for you, we're going to give you a break. We're going to give you a gift. This cup that comes through from Six of Cups energy is something that's just saying, well done, Taurus. We see you. We acknowledge you. Now go ahead and feel the delight. Wow, Taurus, this is absolutely lovely. So let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. Let's see what Taurus's spirit animal is for this week, please. Let us see what we have here. And you have got lizard spirit dream the world into being so first and foremost number 38 and number 19 these numbers are your auspicious numbers any combination of these numbers please consider a very auspicious sign the lizard is your spirit animal if you see a lizard at any time and in any circumstance please take this as a very auspicious sign Dream the world into being. Beautiful energy. Because what we see here is that you're taking your dream, right? You're taking your dream and you're absolutely driving it. You're making it happen. You're making it into being. Wonderful energy. And then you get your sign, your acknowledgement saying, Taurus, great job. 
and here's your gift. Wow, Taurus, this looks like a lovely week for you. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.